So a little bit of a follow on from fitting out my boat with the um, Webasco top C diesel heater uh, to power my radiators. Um, what came with it was a bit of a rubbishy timer uh, on off um, system. So what I've done is I've purchased one of these, I actually got this off um, uh, Facebook Marketplace, somebody was selling it because they no longer required. Um, and my concern was that basically this is a 240 system and it then supplied the 12 volt system to the actual thermostat that stayed in the room. Now, that's powered up at the moment just, that's actually powered up just at the moment with a USB lead and you can see in this room it's 18 degrees and I've actually got that run in. So what I've done on this heater, uh, the thermal, thermos, thermo link, let's have a look. I think it's called, should have it here somewhere. Heat link, so on the heat link, um, I've just powered it purely on the 12 volt side. It's not a 12 volt out, it is a 12 volt in as well. Um, on this side is the 240. So I'm going to connect this now to the heater. Um, but I'll just show you that I'm, I've done this just to test it before I actually go and fit it because I don't want to go and take off the other switch and have issues. So what I'm going to do now is just go and snip the wires on the inside and, and mount this on the other side of the wall in the engine uh, compartment which should be okay but then again does this have any way of doing the temperature outside I'm not really sure but uh, that's what I'm going to do for the net now I'm going to actually put this within the engine bay so let's have a look at this and listen out for the switch to switch let's put it by side by side there you go switch is on and that will trigger the uh, heater and back off and it goes back off so I'm gonna fit that I'm too excited to leave this so I'm gonna go fit that and um, hopefully it triggers out works out as, as I expect um, but there's not a lot on the internet to show you how to do this so I'm going to do it test it make sure it works and then uh, give you an update right just show you what's going on down here now just wired up this heat link So that's all wired up. If you can see that well. So the one and two, terminal one and two is switch. And so call to heat or switch. And the terminal on the 12 volt side, um, T1 is negative and T2 is positive. That's wired directly into my Wabasco and it's currently working so I'll just seal this up put it up on the wall somewhere so it's out of the way and um, see how it goes but uh, this is this is the old one as well I'll show you what the old one looks like so that was the old one and the way the Wabasco came it had the power in and power out uh, sorry, power positive and negative, and then there was the switch side of this uh, 12 volt timer digital timer switch, which looks pretty bit nasty. But you can hear that now, it's 
fully going, working lovely. I'm just going to put the cap back on here, secure it up, and um, we'll uh, see see what happens with the uh, thermostat on the inside. Right, so it's been about six, seven weeks since I've had the heat um, link all connected and the Google Nest uh, thermostat all, all sorted and connected up. Um, so far it's been working great and I'm just going to sort of show you uh, the sort of thing you can expect if you were to fit it to your Webasco or your heating system. Um, I'm obviously showing this um, for boaters mainly because um, I'm not sure if many people are doing it but uh, it really is a great solution and uh, the, one of the reasons why I fitted mine to my boat, one I want it to be as smart as possible but um, it's great if you're quite hard you know you're going out working you want uh, the heating to be up and running for when you get back and the place being nice and warm and all that sort of thing that's great but also if you're away for long periods of time you want something to be a bit smart and alert you to um, low temperatures on your boat and things like that so it's all all to do with um, sort of making your boat a bit smarter and, and there's quite a few little elements that I've uh, introduced to my boat um, so I can keep an eye on it with the security system cameras and things like that um, water sensors and also the heat link and um, Google thermostat so obviously you saw how I um, linked it up uh, at the moment, there's lots of settings in this, but I've got it set up to um, show me the weather, what it's doing outside currently, and also um, what the prediction of you know the weather's going to be at whatever time. This is linked to my um, router, which is a 5G uh, router, and uh, so far very very good. So I'll do another video about that at some other point. Um, so this is how we choose the temperature we can press it and we've got a number of settings history schedules so obviously schedules you can go into that and start putting schedules in what you want the um, the actual thermostat to do um, a bit confused about this because I haven't used an awful lot of the settings um, but you can change the mode um, just so you've got heating water and whatever um, obviously mine's connected directly to a Webasto or Webasto and um, it basically is it doesn't really have the choice of what to do either heating or water at currently there are some things that I could do to make that happen but um, I feel like there's no need at the moment so I'm not going to bother uh, it does have um, eco mode and the hot water um, but uh, there's lots of other settings in this um, but it's a bit pointless me going through it all um, I'm sure if you go you know if you, if you do choose something like this you'll look into that part yourself and it's all very very easy but uh, so that's that's that very easy as soon as I take this part by sliding past the 22 degrees uh, that it's currently showing me the temperature of at the moment uh, obviously where I'm selecting here is telling me what temperature I want it to be um, as soon as I go past that point it kicks in on the thermal um, sorry the heat link which kicks in to the uh, Webasto so that's that uh, but the other thing I wanted to show you let me just uh, open my phone right so in here if I there's a few, number of ways of doing this but I'm just going to show you my Google Home I don't know if this is going to come up very well um, there you go so I've got a few things in my Google Home but it does have this bit here so it doesn't matter where I am I can be across the other side of the world if I wanted to and I can see that my temperature is currently set at 18.5 uh, my indoor temperature currently is 22.5 degrees humidity is on there as well and I can control this from my phone again if I go past that point it will kick on and there they are both together so 17 degrees on both 
and as soon as I change this on my phone that's 14 that's going to go to 14 because it's connected through the internet um, I can go through onto the nest I'll do there we go right so I clicked clicked on there again it's showing me the the uh, temperature set up there um, outside temperature it's got humidity and then again along here we've got the other set those are the settings that we add on the um, on that another useful little thing here is you can see on here I've got a history of uh, what I've been using so let's go to yesterday I can see that it was on for three hours and it was on for short periods of time um, up to three hours in total um, quite handy if you want to keep track of what you're doing um, and then of course if you want it if you know that's your sort of schedule what you're doing you could then add a schedule uh, in here to sort of give you an idea of you know when you want the heating to kick on so in the winter I probably will start it off at five in the morning four in the morning or something have it on for an hour or so and you know it'd be I'd be waking up nice and uh, warm in the morning so that's the app and like I say I can control that from anywhere excuse the mess so uh, another way of controlling and we can do this a number of ways um, but this is another way so th there's my um, Google Nest Hub and if I select down here I've got my smart devices um, and they're all linked up like the lights uh, but a few other things as well but here as well you can see that I've got the um, temperature um, in here as well so I can up this directly from here um, a number of ways again I've got the similar controls um, directly on my pad next to my my bed yes yeah, so that's my uh, Google thermostat link all linked up to the Webasto and um, I'm loving it so if it's something you're interested in doing I'd highly recommend it I'll put a few links in um, the uh, description so if you are interested uh, if you've got any questions uh, please just send me a message I'm more than happy to try and help if I can and uh, please like uh, share and subscribe I'd be really grateful thank you